All right, Tuesday, Tuesday, time to set up my equipment. <laughs> and the funny thing about it, I got a gig on uh, Saturday. So you're like, why are you setting up your equipment? Because today, I'm going to rearrange my lights on my DMX Go. I'm going to try to make it easier for me. Because on my DMX Go, I got it all scattered everywhere. So I'm going to rearrange it. I'm going to fix it up. And basically, I just have to do the whole thing all, all over again. So I think I have like... 10, 20, 30, maybe 30 fixed, 30 uh, scenes already done. So I'm going to redo the whole thing all over again. So I'm going to set up my lights, my equipment, and I'm coming out, the, I'm coming in the front door because that's where my living room's at. Instead of going through the garage and turning and hitting walls and smacking stuff, I just loaded it all out from the garage. Boom, right here, and I'm just going to go right there. So here was a helpful tip. I don't know if you guys know this, but right here on these doors, there's a little thing right here. Slide that puppy right there and it'll lock it in place. People don't know that stuff. So if you ever go through a front door and they have a, a screen door like that, instead of putting something right there to hold it in place, boom, lock that sucker in place. You know what I mean? So I got that thing locked in place and let's bring it in. And, um, I gotta rearrange stuff, so I gotta put my sub back in underneath my sub. I gotta fix that. Um, I lift up the table a little higher. This table is different from the other table. The other table is already fixed. It's like a fixed settings, and this one it has some adjustable legs, so I could adjust it higher or lower. So I adjust a little higher. So I'm gonna do that right now. This is my cat. Make sure he doesn't go out. So in order for the cat so he won't go out, what I do, I go. I scare him. So you go back. So that cat's there. I don't know where the other cat's at. I gotta make sure the cats don't go out because my daughter would kill me. She'd be like, you let the cats out? Why did you, you do that for? Where's my cat? So, all right, let's do this. I'm out, peace. Oh, actually, um, I'm gonna show you guys another helpful tip um, in a little bit. All right, let's pause this real quick. All right, so here's a helpful tip. So let's say I'm showing up at the venue. I had to close the front door because the cat won't go out. Let's say I show up at the venue or a house. Because I do a lot of house gigs. I always want to see where I'm going to set the speakers at. Because this one doesn't have a, the pole. So I'm going to put a speaker here and another speaker there. And I put my table. So I still got to put the cloth and all that stuff. So what I like to do, I like to put my controller on top of my speaker. So this way, it saves a lot on my back. I don't like to put the controller on the ground, set up everything, and I'm looking for my controller. And I got to put my controller up next. So what I do, I'll set this up. Well, let's say I have a speaker here, another speaker over there, and the table right in the middle. And then I put my tablecloth on. Then I use this lid to put underneath my controller to lift it up a little higher. So that's why I like to put it up like that so I could get the lid off first, set it up, and then I get my controller and put it right on top. So it saves me a lot of, a lot of, a lot of work. Because um, I notice when I do a lot of gigs sometimes back in the days, I would show up, put my controller down, boom, 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 set up the stuff. Later on, I got to get the lid off, set it up, then get, get, got to lift off from the ground, from the bottom, and then boom. And I'm like, Ugh, you know, you're back. And for me, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm old, so I don't want to be hurt myself, you know. So that right there is a helpful tip for me, actually, for anybody who wants to do something like that. I want to save your back. And also, I don't set up my controller on my table yet. What I like to do, I like to set up my lights first. So I put my lights on the table first. And then I'll set up my T, the T-bar. And then when I got the T-bar set up, then I'll start setting up my controller. But I want to use my table first so I could put things on top. And the same thing when I'm packing it up and I'm going home. First thing I do, I pack this up first, save the table, and then I start taking my lights off and putting my lights on top of the table. So I won't be bending down a lot. And you do a lot of bending. And, uh, you know, after a while your back is like, oh, my back is sore. So just, uh, you know, a little helpful tip there. Like right here. If I'm going to set up on my T-bar, I'm not going to just come down here and unzip it and do this. I'm going to get this right here and put it on top of the table 
and zip it so I won't have to be bending a lot, you know. So I put I might put uh, the bags, all three bags on top of the table and just start setting it up and I'd be done like in 10 minutes. Instead of looking for my bag, say, where's my lights? And then I have a light over here and I start taking it out, zip it, take the light over and then take another light over. No, I put it right on the table, set up my T-bar and then boom, I'm done. So like right now I'm going to set up my T-bar right here. So, so I won't be bending over a lot. I put my, my lights a little higher. I put them right here so while I start setting it up. I, you know, save your back. All right, this is your boy DJ City Models. I'm going to set up my equipment, set up my T-bar. I'm going to got, I got some fixtures to fix. Uh, I'm going to rearrange everything, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, I'm out. Peace.